Greetings, gentlemen and ladies. Today we are taking a look at the 200 faster cast rate charged bolt sorceress. Yesterday we did a feature on the Nova Sorceress, and I thought just for fun, hey, let's today do a do a feature on the charged bolt sorceress because hey, we're pretty much already geared up and configured from the Nova configuration. Very similar build, just swapping out the skills here. That's what we're doing. All right, let's take a look at how she's put together. So for this character, I have specialized into lightning without any supplementary skills. This is sort of the kind of character that you would build for fun when you already have enough gear to afford infinity, which is really necessary on your mercenary. This isn't a dual spec hybrid sorceress build. This is pure charged bolt and just how to, how to have fun with charged bolt as a spell because it is pretty fun. So many charged bolts all over the place. Here's how the skill tree looks. We have 20 into Charged Bolt. We have 20 into Lightning, which is a synergy for Charged Bolt. We also have 20 into Energy Shield. That is because when casting Charged Bolt, you have to stand still a lot, so you do take quite a lot of hits, and Energy Shield just helps to keep that from killing you, which is good. Um, telekinesis, of course, the synergy for Energy Shield, 20 points into that, and 20 points into Lightning Mastery 1 into Static Field, because why not? 1 into Warmth, because why not? 1 into Frozen Armor, for the same reason. Let's take a look at her gear. Same as yesterday, basically, same as our Nova Sorceress. We have Ashuta's Temper. Uh, that is for the lightning, ad additional lightning skill damage. We have Griffin's Eye, again, for the lightning skill damage, the minus to enemy lightning resistance. Yes, this is Hero Editor, guys. For those of you in the comments yesterday wondering why this is all a little bit garbledy goops, Hero Editor items, just, you know, Griffin's Eye is what you need there. Um, skin of the Viper Magi. This is for the faster cast rate. Helps us to get up to that 200% FCR. Not totally necessary for this build, but fun. Hey, if you're going to do a specialized charge bolt sorceress, why not? Why not max out FCR, right? Uh, Shadow Eye. Shadow's Eye Amulet. This is a crafter's amulet that gives 10% faster cast rate, which is necessary for that uh, to, in order to break that 200 FCR breakpoint. Two 10% faster cast rate rings, again, necessary to break that 200%. You could do this with one breakpoint lower and it would be almost as good, but hey, you know, like I say, this is kind of a specialized niche sort of setup, uh, and so that's what we're doing. We're just gearing up for that. We have Mage Fist, again, for FCR. We have Spirit Shield for FCR. This has to be a perfect 35, or, or you will be 1% below that 200%. Of course, if you get a 20% amulet, then you have a little bit more flexibility on your ring. But otherwise, yeah, you basically need all this Arachnid's Mesh, 10% faster cast. I am stacking some life and mana charms here. You can kind of do what you want with that. Um, but this character does get up to 75% resistance with the gear she's got, with only uh, a couple charms in her inventory. Nothing really specialized for resistance, just kind of specializing life and mana. Again, you don't really need all this much. This was kind of more necessary for the Nova Sorceress, which burned through mana really quickly, but the Charge Bolt Sorceress is much more moderate when it comes to how much mana she actually does require in order to just keep that casting at full speed. Um, our Mercenary is using Infinity, and that is, I would say, necessary if you're going to run this build. Um, otherwise, you're just going to have too much lightning immune stuff that's going to kind of ruin your day. Uh, Andario's Visage and Treachery, just to help keep your mercenary alive with that nice lifesteal. But the main thing is that Infinity Aura. That's basically the gear. There's a lot of flexibility in, in sort of how you put together your charms. But you do need that. Uh, do you, you do kind of need all this configuration to get 200 FCR. Um, I have max energy, I have enough strength to wear the Monarch Shield, otherwise we're just getting that energy shield up so that that becomes our, our defense, basically. We don't want to, we don't want to die, and so we gotta have some sort of defense, and like I say, because this character stands still so much, she is prone to taking a lot of hits in order to get out of the way of stuff. She's gotta, you know, stop her stream of lightning, which kind of reduces her DPS, so just having that energy shield, I think, is a nice way to, to do this. Um, of course, teleport, teleporting around, bringing your mercenary's aura, right, so you can make those immunes no longer immune. Actually, doesn't work for these guys. Those guys are immune. They're, those guys are too immune, apparently. So, yeah. Um, anyway, so that's basically the build. Let's take a look at how she performs. All right, for the old classic Eldritch Pindleskin and uh, Shenk, the Overseer Run Charge Bolt 
is fun. It is definitely fun. Uh, it works cl better when you're up closer. It does more damage to the close stuff than it does to the stuff far away, but it still does quite a bit of damage regardless. Um, the charge bolts uh, do get blocked when they, when they hit something, so you don't penetrate through everything, but you have so many charge bolts uh, that it doesn't often really seem to matter. Let's go take out Pimble Skin here. We'll do a little expose on how this character uh, handles some different areas, just because Charge Bolt is not a build you often see, uh, and it is fun. It is definitely fun. Look, look how many Charge Bolts. That's so fun. How about some cows? Okay, here we are at the Moomoo Farm. Charged bolting the cows. Bolting the cows with charged bolts. That's what we're doing. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, the, uh, yeah, I, I prefer Nova, you know, Charge Bolt is kind of fun, I, I think Nova has, has kind of a better clear speed, but, uh, Charge Bolt works, it's absolutely viable, it's fun to take, like, a first level spell and actually, absolutely max it out and see, uh, what it can do, uh, when it's just kind of, you know, pimped out, um, yeah, I, 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 you know, there's a lot of, I would say there's a lot of better options for sorceress. You know, just straight up lightning is more viable, chain lightning is more viable, Nova is more viable, but charge bolt is kind of fun, and it's not too far behind in terms of damage output. Like it's not too bad, and yeah, like I say, getting up close and personal into the face of the cows, or into the face of what you're shooting, gets just more charge bolts on top of them. It does faster damage, of course. If you want a little more AOE, you kind of want to back up. Um, the, the trick is basically just getting as many bolts on your target, finding the optimal range <clears throat> to get as many bolts on your targets as you can. And yeah, it is fun. It is definitely fun. Anyway, we're going to kill some more cows here. Um, just dropped a little update video today on the patch 2.3. Looks kind of interesting. I kind of wish they had uh, included stackable runes and, and gems. That would have been the first thing that I did if I was a dev. Stackable rooms and gems, just the quality of life, you know, for, for that. But hey, that's all right. That's all right. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get there. Maybe we won't. I think most people want that. But uh, there are some that don't. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Anyway, this is Charge Bolt in the Moo Moo Farm. Moo 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 Moo. Uh, and actually, you can travel even faster than your Charge Bolt <laughs> if you're a sorceress. It's because it's kind of slow moving. That's all right. Faster than the speed of light. That's what we are here. Faster, faster than the speed of lightning, technically. Which is pretty fast. Lightning goes fast. Well, not this lightning, but hey. That's all right. There's always exceptions to every rule. Am I just saying a bunch of things that don't really make a lot of coherent sense right now just to fill up time while I'm you know, making a little Moo Moo Farm Kill Kill video? Yeah, basically, that's what I'm doing. Are you still watching? Hopefully. <laughs> Alright, anyway, hey, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.